my people, it's Tack. Today we're going to talk about how it feels to be rich. Now, I get this comment a lot. Oh, Tack, not everybody's rich like you, Silver Spoon, and, uh, yo, I can't afford that $500 tomahawk. Oh, rich guy, rich guy. You know, everybody, I get that comment so much. I remember there was this kid, uh, real dorky kid, younger kid, I was riding motorcycles with. And he's part of this motorcycle gang. Not in the sense that you're thinking like Harleys, crack rocket kind. And, you know, I had four motorcycles at the time, and, oh, there's no way he could afford four motorcycles where he works. He didn't know how much I was making. But I'm just like, all these comments, for the most part, come from teenagers or 20-year-olds, something like that. Now, they're not thinking, I'm double your age, okay? Whatever time you've had to accumulate stuff in your light life, Double that. Man, I ain't rich. I wish I was rich. If I was rich, I'd have my own valley with mountains around it, and I'd own or an island or something. Uh, I wouldn't be paying on a house. Okay, uh, took this loan out for this house. 30 years. I did like five. So I got like 25 to go. I'll probably be dead before it's paid for. But Tack, you got so much stuff. Uh, you must be rich. No, I'm in debt. I'm in debt just like the rest of you. Okay? <laughs> now, lately, I've been trying to get my head out of my ass. This has happened a couple times in my life. Like I said, I'm about to be 47 next month. I've had lots of time to fuck up, then get my head out of my ass, and reinsert my head right back there where it was like a dumbass. Now, I'm hopefully I'm pulling it out for the last time. I hope this is it. I'm too old to keep doing this. Uh, not counting the house. Like I said, 25 more years to go. I have no payments on vehicles except for my truck because it's a lease. So that'll always be there. I like leasing trucks. I like, having some, I like having something new. Actually, this is my first lease I've ever done this. And I like have, having something new and I don't have to worry about it breaking down and shit. And I don't drive too many miles so I can do it. Buggies paid for. All the ATVs are paid for. Now, credit cards, okay, that's the flaw. Those things are the devil. They are made to put you in debt and you're a slave to the system. Man, you know, it happened to me too. I'm still there. Uh, I'm a firm believer in if you're going to have a credit card, even if you owe a bunch, just have one. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that guy, I got three, I got five, I got ten. Uh, Miss Tech. <clears throat> but you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. It's like, okay, because I have one big credit card. I'm down to one. Everything else is paid for. I'm down to the one. I got to work on that. But it's fucking big. Okay. So this is the thing. Miss Tack, same thing. She's got a big credit card. She's got a couple of them. She's got a big one. But I look and I'm like, you know, what do you got? What do you got for it? And not much. Well, she's beeped, you know. Uh, yeah, a couple things are here and there, but it mostly clothes or trinkets or stuff that doesn't count, stuff that doesn't matter. Uh, some of, I got a big credit card, and most of the stuff, you can still see it. Like my log splitter. Yeah, that was 1500 bucks, But I still got it and still use it, and that thing's going to last years. Most of the things I have, you can still look around. You know, I beep some guns. I still got them, and they're worth money. Uh, all those knives, God, when I had 450 knives, that was probably over $10,000 frickin' knives. That was, that was stupid, okay? But I made most of my money back, and actually more from doing videos. So that evened out. So that was like a wash. It's almost like, I try to tell Miss Tack now, you can't say this to a younger person, but to an older person, try to look ahead and see what in the end is going to make you happy and put your money on that. Because you only got X amount of money until you're dead. So I'm trying to help her think, and I'm trying to help myself think like that. You know, focus, tack. You know, what are you going to want in the end? It's hard to predict the future. Because a lot of times through life, you're in a hobby and you spend your money on that. 
and then all of a sudden your hobby switches or I can't physically use this anymore or I don't have the time for this. So then you got this stuff and you got to sell it and then you get into another collection. It's kind of a vicious circle. So I'm trying to focus and think about what do I want in the long run. Well, that's nice tack. Easier said than done. Totally true. Look at I'm proof. But yeah, being rich, I'm not rich. I am poor. I am broke. You know, I'm two paychecks away from being homeless. You know, I don't have a bunch of money. And obviously I sold a lot of my weapons and stuff like that. Do I still have a, some nice stuff? Yeah. Do I still have like a $1,200 friggin' dark timber knife? Yeah. I didn't even buy this. It was a gift. I couldn't afford this. Oh, this RMJ Eagle Talon, 500 bucks. I did buy this. I beeped it like a jackass. So is it paid for now? Yeah, but it took a while. And I'm older, and the older you get, the more you can accumulate. And sometimes you accumulate too much shit, and then you gotta start getting rid of it. I've been doing that too. I'm trying to streamline my life. Do I have hobbies? Yes. Do I have a lot? Yeah. But I'm trying to streamline. It's like my paintball hobby. I, I don't know if I ever showed you guys my paintball guns, but I had stupid retarded ones. I had four of them. One was like 1200 bucks. The other was 850 The other one was 550 I spent all this money on it, and I was super into it. All the gear, you know, all badass, kicking ass. And then I started getting into my 40s and shit, and I'm like, man, I don't, I'm not really into running around anymore. The only thing I run from now is bees and cops. That's it. I ain't running from paintballs, shooting at me, fuck that. I don't want to get hurt and get beat up. I'm not as tough as I was. Not that I really ever was, but I could take a lot more abuse than I can now. So like I said, I am not rich, not even close. Young people, you will get there. You know, a lot of these 13 year olds, oh, I don't have the money for that. Of course you don't have no money. You haven't really worked yet. You haven't been working for decades. You haven't been screwing up for decades like me. So I'm trying to save you younger people some heartache. And some of my other older subscribers, you can chime in and tell the younger folk what it's like. It is a lot of ups and downs. It's just, just try to make more ups than downs. So, always listen to your gut in the end, I guess. You don't have to take my advice, because who the hell am I? I'm some crazy guy with a mask on. As always, good to see you guys. And until the next time we meet.